my YouTube friends. Look at this, I'm live in OBS. I've got a talking avatar and there's absolutely no webcam turned on right now. If you don't wanna be on camera or you're just not ready yet, you can still stream and make content just like this for completely free. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to become a PNG tuber in under 10 minutes. No drawing skills, no fancy paid software, just a couple of simple images and the tools you already know. By the end of this tutorial, you'll have your own talking PNG avatar set up and ready to drop into your streams or YouTube videos. And you'll be able to turn it on and off with a single click inside OBS. Let's start with what you need. I'll give you a super easy way to get your first PNG avatar, even if you can't draw a stick figure. So you know what? Let's get to it! All right, let's build our PNG tuber. And by the way, everything is free. There are links in the description to everything I talk about today. So I'm all about easy. I wanna get you started as quickly as possible. So we're gonna start with this. This is a free page that somebody already aggregated all of these models. So just go through here and select from whatever one you want, and then you can customize it, believe it or not, to be whatever you want it to be. So I'm gonna scroll down here. You can see there are just so many different ones. We're gonna start right here. So we're gonna just grab this dude. Brings us over here and we could just agree on this stuff and it's fine. All right, so we wanna just play with this particular model so we can change the color of his skin. We could change his eye color or the way that his eyes are. Pretty simple, it's just like character creation in a video game or something like that. Could change the eyebrows. Here we've got the mouth, wherever we want our mouth. Now you can actually move this stuff around as well. So if we select here, we can make it bigger or smaller. We can rotate it, move it left and right, all that kind of stuff. Selecting here will just bring us back. We can adjust our noses and our hair. I think that'll work. We'll go with something lighter. You can add glasses. Here you can add like band-aids and patches on the face, that sort of stuff. We're just gonna go to the clothes here and we're gonna put them in a t-shirt. We're gonna make that blue, maybe green. Kind of like the green, there we go. Uh, you can add earrings, ties, stuff on the face if you wanted to. And then this will add backgrounds, which we don't want, obviously. So what we could do is finish and then it will take that and we can download it. And then what we wanna do is just go back and we're gonna go and select, oh, sometimes you'll get this. So when it's free, sometimes you gotta deal with that. Anyway, now we're back here and we're just gonna go over to our mouth and we're gonna create a closed mouth. There we go. And I'm gonna move it up just a little bit and then I'm gonna click finish. We could download that. And then I just wanna do one more. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go into our eyes and we're just gonna do that a blinky pose, and we're gonna download that. So now if we go into our downloads, you can see that we have all these images, and they have the black background, which means they are transparent. Eyes closed, mouth open, and mouth closed. Now we could do one more with, uh, you know, eyes closed and mouth open. So let's go ahead and just do that. Then we're just gonna go over here to our mouth, and I'm probably gonna select the same one, just for continuity. We're gonna finish, download, and bam. So now we've got mouth open, mouth closed with the eyes open, mouth open, mouth closed with the eyes closed. We're all set. We're ready to load this puppy up. Now, if you want something that's a bit more custom, there are a couple of options. AI is really good at creating a style around a photo. So you can take a photo of yourself and have it make you anime or Pixar or whatever style you want. Then you can edit the mouth and eyes to your liking. You can also commission an artist to create one for you. And it's not actually that expensive. If you like a certain style, you can easily find an artist that's gonna create the four images that you need in your style. And usually the pricing is like 20 bucks or so, so it's really not that bad. Now let's set up the program that you're going to use to animate your PNG tuber. We're gonna use ViaTube Mini. This is totally free and there is a link down below in the description. All right, next we're gonna go here to Video Tube, and we're gonna come down here. You can see it's Windows, Linux, and Mac OS. 
and we're just gonna download this. And this is a pay what you want. You can just click no thanks and take me to the download. You can come back and flip them some cash later if you really like the application. You can see all the different applications here. We're gonna go ahead and grab this one and it already popped up into our downloads. So now we can just go down here into downloads. What we're gonna do is right click, go to extract all, extract, come down here and we're gonna go ahead and you can see this this is just the application. There's nothing to install. We just click that. So you may want to put this somewhere where you can actually find it later. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and just grab this, cut it, and I'm going to just stick it on one of my drives. And there we go. So now I know where to find it. I can create a shortcut on my desktop. All I have to do is click copy as path and I can go onto my desktop, right click, and we can go with new shortcut and just boom. And there we go. So now we have a piece of this on our desktop and we can just double click it to get right in there. So then I'm just gonna double click on it and we're gonna come in here. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead into my downloads and I'm gonna grab our PNG images and I'm just gonna cut those and I'm gonna go ahead and put them where we actually save the program as well. So we're gonna go in here and our video tube. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna paste these images in here and really quickly, I'm just gonna annotate them. Eyes open, mouth closed, mouth open, eyes closed. This is just so I can easily figure out what they are when we're trying to load them into the program. So it gives you a little bit of a thing. You can add all your images over here, visit the website, configure the microphone, and save your avatar or load pre-made ones. So we're gonna come over here and we're gonna load a closed mouth image. Uh, so we're gonna go with eyes open, mouth closed for our closed mouth image. And then open mouth image, we're gonna go with eyes open, mouth open. And now we want a closed mouth blinking image. So we're gonna go with eyes closed, mouth closed. And right here, open mouth blinking image. So mouth open, eyes closed. That's what we're looking for. Now right here, we can um, change the blink interval and the blink duration and all that sort of stuff right here. We can add shortcuts or assign a shortcut. So if we wanted to do a certain thing, we can do that. Now over here, we've got our microphone settings. So we can select our microphone. We can use noise reduction and we can also assign a shortcut. We can change our display settings if we want to adjust the color or anything like that. We can adjust our program settings right here. And then right here is our our avatar settings so we can save this avatar so we can use it later so let's go ahead and do that we'll just call it Mike and save it and then that way we can load it later if we want to and we can adjust how this works so the microphone volume cutoff we can adjust it so it's more sensitive to when you're talking or we can adjust it so it's less sensitive this is very very easy to use now all that's left is to put our PNG tuber in OBS all right so I'm gonna make a couple of changes over here I'm gonna go into my program settings. I'm gonna go into my display settings and I'm going to change it from transparent to color. And here we have a game loaded in. I have my microphone loaded in as well. I just need to go ahead and tell it which microphone I am gonna be using. There we go. So now we've got a game vid and a microphone. What we're gonna do is go ahead and select a window capture. And we'll just call this PNG Tuber and click OK. Now we have to select a window to capture and you can see the window is not up and that's because I have it minimized. So we've got to maximize it. I'm just gonna put it up on a different screen here and then I'm gonna go ahead and select the window to capture. I gotta close out and then right click, go back into properties and now there it is. And so we want the capture method to be automatic and we want it to match the title. The title must match. And we're gonna click okay on there. Now we're gonna right click on here. We're gonna go into filters and we're going to click the plus and we're going to select our chroma key. And instead of green, we're going to select blue. And you can see that didn't really work. Not as well as we would have hoped. I probably shouldn't have chosen a green shirt, but I did. So we're gonna go back to green and then what I'm gonna do is go into here and we're going to go into our display settings so we're going to just make it as nasty green as we can and i'll just put it back up here and now you can see that looks pretty good i like it and so we can click close everything's working we can put this guy wherever we want now the one thing you're going to notice let's go ahead and shrink him down put him here 
If I mouse over here, you're gonna notice, first of all, we're seeing my mouse. Second of all, we're seeing all of this menu stuff. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna right click on here, we're gonna go into properties, and we're gonna select capture cursor. We're gonna uncheck that, click okay. So now when we're over here, you can't see my cursor. So the other thing that we're gonna do is come down here and we're gonna select our PNG tuber and we're gonna go over this and we're gonna click the alt button and we're just gonna crop this in. We're gonna crop this in. So now when I go over to my PNG tuber application, we can't see that because it's cropped out. And now we could just place it wherever we want. So there you have it. It's easy to set up and use. You can probably do this in about 10 minutes and go live as a PNG tuber. Now that's the simplest form of VTubing. If you want to see a more complex 2D and 3D style VTuber setup that's also free, let me know about it down in the comments. And if you're always looking for tools, tips, and tricks to help make you a better live streamer or YouTuber, subscribe to the channel. My name is Michael Fire Jr. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day, and I'll see you in the next one.